Hey guys, what's up? For today's DIY, you'll need a sheet of glitter foam or a sheet of glitter paper, triple thick, scissors, and optionally tape or a hot glue gun. First, you're going to cut out a diamond shape, roughly the size that you want it, just a little bit bigger, um, just like that. And then you're going to cut out each section of your diamond. You're only going to be working with one, but if you mess up one, you have three others to work with. So here's one of the pieces cut out. I just like to mark the center there so I know where the center is. And then you're going to cut off a little sliver from this side and a little sliver from this side, tapering to the point here. So you don't want to cut anything away from here. So now that you've cut away that little extra sliver on each side, you're going to place your piece down and trace it. And then you're going to flip it to the side. So flip it this way and then line this all up right here and then trace it again. So then after you have that, you're going to flip it the next side over. And now for the last section, you can flip it this way if you want to, but I prefer not to have an opening right here, but you can do that if you want to. So I'm just going to shift it over here and have my opening be right here. Okay, so after you have your piece cut out, you're going to fold on these lines here. So you kind of just want to test it out to see if it has the shape that you want, like basically the height, because sometimes it can be a little shallow. So if it's a little too shallow, a little too flat for you, then you can just cut a little bit more away on that original piece. So you can use glitter paper or foam sheets. I prefer the sticker back foam sheets but you can use these you'll just have to glue your gem together but with the sticker back they just stay together on their own so you're gonna flip your foam sheet over and then just trace your shape out once you have your piece cut out you're gonna score the lines for this so the lines are from here to here from here to here and from here to here so after it's been scored you just want to kind of in those creases so they're nice and sharp and then flip it over and take your paper off the back of it and then you're just going to stick this together so after you've stuck that together you might want to put that paper back on it just so it doesn't stick to everything while you're still working with it so for the paper ones you're going to want to just tape that back seam together and with the foam ones without a sticker back you're going to want to just hot glue it use hot glue sparingly you could actually be done and leave your little gem pieces like this but I like to use triple thick to kind of give it a coated look on it kind of almost like a resiny kind of look I'm just gonna paint a layer of triple thick on here I usually am heavy-handed with this so it usually takes mine a while to dry but you want to let it dry and then after this layer paint two more layers letting each layer dry in between 